Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, so you'll notice behind me here, I have uh, wing skin still being worked on. So I'm not sure when this video here will be released, uh, but you'll see I'm partially through on this left wing here uh, for getting that top skin on and then uh, nowhere near <laughs> done riveting on the uh, left wing, or on the uh, right wing. Uh, there. So anyways, um, video here is going to be involving uh, making the wing cradle. So as far as plans go, I'm trying to balance this tripod here. Yeah, anyways, as far as plans go, uh, I printed this up off of Mauser's RV10 uh, build log on, uh, online. So just Google Mauser RV10 wing cradle. You'll find this here where he has a write up on how he made his wing stand. Uh, modifying it slightly. So um, I'm trying to make it so it fits through doorways really easily. I measured the worst case scenario in our living room. Uh, trying to push this, trying to get this cradle inside the house where it'll go into storage. But anyways, measured worst case scenario, um, and I'd like to err on the side of caution and make it a little bit skinnier, uh, which I think should still be fine. I, I still should have um, some a little bit of gap there on each side of on each side of the wing, so it should be fine. But bringing it in a half an inch overall, so instead of making it 20 inches wide, 27 and a half. So I did have to modify some measurements here. Um, so modified my cut list here. And then um, I'm going to be modifying these as well here. So I have all my supplies ready here. So I have a roll of carpet here from Lowe's. Uh, just asked him to cut off. I think I told him uh, 16 inches, but I think they gave me plenty of extra and charged me only for a foot. So kill them with kindness and people in retail treat you nicely. So anyways, got a roll there. Uh, I got my lumber there. So anyways, I'm going to put this tripod somewhere here and we'll get to building. Wing stand is complete. Uh, overall, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Uh, you'll see here I have it on just these regular old castering or uh, swiveling casters uh, from Amazon, which I use on the EAA work tables as well. Uh, but anyways, overall, really happy with the results. Um, you'll see I did veer from plans a little bit there. Um, real quickly going over how I changed or how I veered from plans from that um, basic one found on Mauser's RV10 build log. Uh, but what I did is first thing, there's two by four on his that um, that kind of spans the length here on the outside of these outermost supports. So I chopped that off and moved that. I went dead center right down the middle. So hopefully you can see on camera there, maybe. Uh, but anyways, place a piece dead center, kind of copied what goes on in the middle and put those on the outer ones. Countersunk holes here, glued it together, used nice strong cabinetry screws on the inside there. Uh, so I have no worries whatsoever about that uh, not being strong enough. But the reason why I did that is to make it through doorways. Um, I did not want to run into the issue of not being able to get this after I'm all done here to get it scooted inside the house into our storage room. Uh, I want to make sure I really aired on the side of caution, bring everything as tight in as possible. And I also did make mine a half inch skinnier overall uh, than the one in the plan. So um, I cut off any of these bottom pieces here are supposed to be 10 and a quarter inches. I made those 10 inches 
So they each lost a quarter inch each. Uh, this, this makes sense. Um, but overall, a half inch skinnier. Just to really err on the side of caution. I did test it. I know I can get it through the doorway without issue. But going through that door over there, I have a laundry room there. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to interfere with the washer, dryer, have any issues getting it inside of the house there. So anyways, it's a half an inch shorter or half an inch skinnier, uh, which again, you can see here, it already was wide enough to begin with and I still have extra wiggle room there uh, with this outboard leading edge here placed in there temporarily just to, to see how it looks. Um, the other area where I veered from plants, you'll see this carpet here. I think on his, his was set a little bit lower, uh, which I wanted mine to sit nice and level so I really just eyeballed it with a rib and you'll see looking across there hopefully you can see on camera there but we're pretty much level with uh, what's going on over there at the far end with the spar support so we'll see after this I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this video or wait until I'm ready for the wing and you can kind of see it all together we'll see how I post this um, but if it's posted as is like this you have to check back later on to see how it looks with the wing uh, but if not skip ahead here and you'll see what it looks like but anyways uh, kind of eyeballed it there to see, get it as level as possible with that. And I also wanted to have access to, which I have plenty of access now, but I want to have access to um, any of those spar holes uh, where I have riveting into the spar. Not necessarily get into these, I know I'm going to have this riveted on, uh, but to actually get into, to be able to get access to the bottom skin when that's on later on. I've seen other people's photos where they have it in their wing cradle and those bottom or I guess the forward most holes on their bottom skin are covered by this carpet and I kind of wanted to have access to all the holes available so that's why I kind of let mine sit a little bit higher than some are um, and I know I'll have it supported on the other end so I'm not having any worries or I don't have any worries about it uh, leaning or anything like that just having that nice support of the back end. Anyways as far as um, this carpet down here goes it was super cheap I think it's $20 total at Lowe's uh, they only charged me for a foot of it. They're really nice guys and gave me a 22 inch uh, Width length of it. So I cut it down to 20 inches. I don't think this is as, nearly as uh, crucial of a measurement uh, Down over here how wide do you want this to be in the plans? They call for 16 inches. I was gonna do 18 I ended up with this extra wide piece of carpet. So I made it 20 inches because uh, it's really only comes down to the placement of uh, That structure there you can slide that in and out uh, to make up for any lost or gained material uh, from whatever carpet you get. Uh, but other than that, put a whole bunch of staples in the top here. So a whole bunch of staples, came back after the fact with a hammer just to tap all those down just in case they had uh, any offset. Uh, went all the way down inside there, all the way across the top there with those. Same thing on the other side. So that was super sturdy. I tested it as is with me standing in each one individually and it held me. So it's definitely gonna hold a wing, um, but Aaron on the side of caution, I also went back in after the fact, have old, some old um, roofing screws for steel roofing. So took some of those roofing screws, put a larger washer on the bottom so I had a nice purchase, tacked one in on each side there, uh, one in each of those there, and then again the same thing there on each side. So I have no worry whatsoever, I actually hopped in here and scooted down the driveway. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my story there, uh, but I did, <laughs> even out of, outside of camera, kind of roll all the way down and I was kind of pushing it like a skateboard along the curb here. So it will hold me, it'll hold a wing. I don't have any worries there. So overall, nice and complete. Yeah, so anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have any feedback, if you've made doors like this or made modifications and think that I could do with having things another way or have any other advice for anyone else, please comment down below. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Adios.